You ain't supposed to wash the lorry with that head. Look at that. I've got a puncture. Because out of nowhere, it's windy. Hi everyone, Daniel at Asheville here. Today is gonna be a day in the life. You're gonna follow me and see what exactly I do on a daily basis running the free Asheville companies. For those of you who don't know, Asheville Inc. is a construction company. Asheville Aggregates is a waste management and aggregate supply company. Asheville Concrete is a ready mix concrete and concrete pump hire supply company. Morning. Always got my Apple Watch on, monitoring my movements and actually helps me not look at the phone while I'm driving. Any messages and stuff I get through. And it's a good way in a meeting, if you've got an Apple phone, of not being rude in the meeting and looking at your phone because you just lock on your watch. You just look like you're busy and you might have another meeting to go to. Apple cider vinegar. Ah. Ah, that never gets any better. So here's my little lunchbox. I look like a school kid. Thankfully for me, my lunch, rice and beef stew. I made it yesterday. I got my lunch for today. I got my gym bag. I was gonna make eggs, etc., but I'm already running late. So this is my home office. Uh, I was just about to walk out the door and I got an email and I have to send an attachment. So I sat in front of the computer. Now sitting in front of the computer like this at home can be dangerous because you get stuck in front of the computer because another call comes in and another email comes in and before you know it, you're still sat at the computer three hours later. So I'm gonna try and do this as quick as possible and get out of the door. Coffee and good to go. Got to keep up. There's plenty to do and no one's waiting for me. Right, you see, quick idea, you look in the boot. So I've got a bag for all times. I've got a separate bag here. If I'm boxing in this bag, I've got my high-vis trainers. I've got full orange gear if I need to go on the railway. I've got hard hats, I've got boots. I've got everything I could possibly need. The roads are pretty clear. There's no one around. It's a good time to think. The sun's up, but it's still not bright. Uh, generally in the winter, it's, um, at this time it's still pitch back, it feels like the middle of the night. When, when I don't get in early in the morning like this, the whole day I feel like I'm chasing my tail. And I think from the night before, I've generally got in place what will happen in the more what will happen first thing in the morning, but it could all get thrown out the window. Sometimes, uh, sometimes you come in and I'm there and sometimes not, so I like to keep everyone on their toes. But I do see straight away, as, every, as soon as everyone pulls into the yard, first thing they do, they check if my car's there. I know you lot are doing it, I see you doing it. Is he out already? He beat me to the yard and he's out already, good man. Generally, not in a bad mood at this time of day, because um, so far, nothing's actually happened that's, um, <laughs> that's changed my mood from when I woke up. So I, I always leave the house in the morning um, optimistic about what the day holds. Uh, that could soon turn upside down, but um, I leave the house ready to go, optimistic. Yeah, it's gonna be a great day, happy. More often than not, I don't come home the same way in which I left. Uh, we'll see what happens today. <sighs> this has all gone out the window already. Morning, Daniel. Yes. Uh, I want the key for that lorry, it's not inside. I'm is, trying, but... Is it in the lorry? No. Maybe the, the, the guy who repaired it took somewhere, you know? Why is that lorry there? I come into the yard. <clears throat> Someone's got a puncture. Another one can't find their keys. Someone else is getting diesel when you meant to diesel up last night. Someone else is deciding to wash the lorry this morning when he should have washed the lorry when he got back last night. So, I'm failing to understand why all these things are happening already. Rise and shine. Oh. See that? You can make all the plans in the world. Look at that. I find it. Where was it? You see this head? You ain't supposed to wash the lorry with that head. What I keep saying to the guys is, the washer what we've got over there, there's a different head you can put on it. They tend to use it when they're cleaning out the concrete pump. That head makes it a lot more powerful 
and it, it's so powerful it can take the paint off the lorries. So I keep taking the one to clean the pump off and putting it in the office, but somebody puts it on at night and everybody gets in and they use that same head on the washer and they use it on the lorry, despite me repeatedly saying not to do that. All fun and games. Karen D, yeah. you changed the head, yeah? Yeah, yeah, that's why I changed it. Good man, look at this, yeah? I came over to tell him not to use it and what's he doing? He's changing the head himself. Thank you. Where's your high vis? Where's your high vis? When people apply for a job here, I always say to them, come and do one day and um, see how you like it and see how you get on because uh, it's not an environment you'd be used to. So somebody's coming in to um, shadow, shadow the yard, shadow what the uh, transport and operations team are doing to see if this is actually something that they do want to do. Because everybody says they want to do it until they do it. There you go. Thank you. Good man, now he's got his high-vis on. Oh, Terry! How nice of you to join us this morning. I'm five minutes early. Morning. <laughs> morning. <laughs> How nice of you to join I'm, us this I'm morning, Tezza. I'm five minutes early, unlike a few. <laughs> that car park there, yeah, go in there. It's the new boy. It's like uh, Denzel Washington in training day. Obviously, I'm Denzel. If my door is open, it's always open to everyone to come in. If my door's open, but that's down, that means come in if it's important, yeah? If that's up, it means walk in whenever you like. If that's down and the door's closed, it means knock. Yeah, knock first and make sure, don't, don't ask me a question that I'll tell you to Google and you'll get the answer. Yeah, so that's, that's generally the rules. Oh, we order cement. Great, cement delivery is here. Oh, come on, man, it oh, he's gonna take my post out. Si silo's on the other side over there. But let I'm just gonna ask the boys, sometimes we go around to the backyard and fill through the fence. Okay, no worries. Let me just find out. Give me one sec, yeah? While I am in charge, <laughs> there, some of the boys um, who are in, we got a train coming later, and to organise the yard, he might be doing some work in the backyard. So let me just call him quickly and see what he wants to do. Because if a man has made a plan in the yard for the past two days, and I'm going to turn up and just park something in the middle of it, it's not really... It's not... Morning, Addy. Do you, am I, am I going to send this cement tanker around to the backyard, or should I make him load in here? Boys are asking me for this. Yes, I'll leave it in the office because if I was to put this downstairs, I'd never see it again. Guys, when, when you start, first things first, you see that cage, put it at the back before Noel gets here, please. It's 10 to seven and um, a few challenges we've had this morning. Uh, we've managed to resolve everything. Um, all the boys but one are out working now. Uh, we've had a cement delivery. Um, I'm gonna have a meeting with everyone in the yard, just talk about the train that's coming in later and just a few operational things, what I want done in the yard nice and early. Um, I'm just going over emails again uh, to make sure that we are in a good place, but um, not too bad of a morning. I've, I've definitely had worse, and now we just carry on. Here's one, of, here's one of the problems, yeah? If a lorry was parked here, and now the lorry's gone, now I'm wondering what that was. Now I wonder what this is. What is that? Is it coolant? Is it engine oil? Is it hydraulic? But that's not good. So now I need to, so, okay, I need to do something about that. I need to take that, turn it round and put it at the back. But I spoke to Noel, Noel doesn't want this in there. Can we use this for some, this? The big one or the small one? No, he don't want the small one. Can you use this for some clips and stuff for the, for the, for the pump? Yeah, uh, can I? We can use for something, yeah? Can I take one, yeah? For the? For the church? For that. For, for everything for the church. <laughs> this man, can I take this for the father? Can I take that for the father? Everything in the yard, he's taking it for the church. What is this underneath this? That, that, is, that is that from the jack? Yeah. That oil, good. So the oil's from the jack, yeah? Not from the lorry? Good. I feel a lot better now. So I always use the time in the car to make as many phone calls as possible. Um, chasing up things while I'm waiting on, uh, calling members of staff, um, I'm flat out, or I always use the time in the car. I never sit in the car, like in the daytime, listening to music, listening to the radio, what anyone's got to say or any of that sort of stuff. When you're in the car, you're on the phone. You're on the phone, trying to work things out, trying to push things forward. I heard they're about a ton lighter, is that true? Uh, yeah, but you've got air suspension on the rear. That sounds expensive. Do you, do you ever do those double height, like 25 cubic meter bodies? So you could do my normal body, but you could do it like at a massive cubic meterage.
Ah. So, we're on site now. I have to change. To be honest, what I've got in the car is actually a bit overkill. <laughs> Wearing full orange like I'm going on the railway, but that's what I've got in the car. We've done a loft conversion, rear extension, full refurbishment, kitchen, four bathrooms, new plumbing system, new electrics, absolutely everything. It's really crucial, this part of the job. This is where attention to detail really comes in and you need to do a lot of uh, quality management on it. So long before the client does any snagging, you have to do your own snagging. <sighs> non-stop, non-stop. Yeah, but it's no point, we'll make no money on it. Terry, you're really screwing up my recording, you keep swearing. <laughs> and you, and you keep swearing, and I'm on camera. Well, just beep it out, innit? Like, this is a, this is real effort. This is a day in the life of Daniel Luiz, innit? As you can see, uh, we have shutters fitted in front of the bifolds, and we need to finish the fascia around here, which is pretty large, but that's what the client wants. And we have to lay turf in the garden, and then we'll be finished down here. The top two floors, the client has already taken possession. We're just doing all the grouting. So everything's connected up and ready to go, and the silicone in all the corners. I've come to site to meet the client and go through everything what's left to do, but the client has taken possession of the property because of the current situation which we have, and they are actually working from home. So they can't actually speak to me because they're too busy, so I have to give them a call later in the day. But we know what we've got to do. I've met with my staff on site. We know what snagging issues and what work needs to be completed. So got to keep it moving. I've got plenty of other things to do, and hopefully I can touch base with the client later. In the nicest possible way uh, with meetings in the day, when they need to be short and sharp and we need to get to the point really quickly. Uh, not because I'm being rude, but because there's so much to do and there's no time to waste. And there is a phone call coming in. Oh, it's come and it's gone. In this industry, constantly throughout the day, things are evolving and things are changing and you have to think fast. Like you're on your feet the entire time. So we could have a lorry here and um, its job is canceled and it's already in Chelsea. But you have a uh, lorry over here who's going to do a job close to Chelsea. So instead of this lorry coming to Chelsea, you redirect this one, send this one there, and where this one is, you try to redirect his work. Because lorries driving past each other empty makes absolutely no sense. Hello, Asheville. Hi, it's Richard from Foxton. How are you doing? How are you doing, Richard? Yeah, good, thank you. Uh, we see you at 1.15, right? Uh, I'm not going to be there. But yeah, you're, okay, no problem. Yeah, you're more, the, yeah. Boy, the boys know you're coming. Nice, thank you. Good. All right, I'm going to call you afterwards with a couple of questions, if that's all right. Yeah, um, no just problem. Just in terms that finishes and all that kind of spec with and that kind of business. Cheers, Daniel. No problems, Richard. Thank you. Amazing. All right, good. I'll call you later. See all you right, speak soon. Thanks, bye. That's um, Foxton's calling me. Uh, the next site that we're going to is, um, the client is very po problematic because the client wants everything to be absolutely perfect. And that client is me. <laughs> uh, it's an Asheville in-house project. It's a house that we've converted into three flats. We've got an estate agent on the way and they're gonna show a potential buyer this apartment. So I'm just popping around, having a look in this flat just to make sure there's any snagging and bits and pieces on the walls that we need to get done. So, looking good. Looks like we're ready for reviewing. Well, there are thereabouts. We've still got the plastic cover on the kitchen doors, which can stay. Nothing wrong with that because nobody's bought it yet. Oh, wow. Love that. Oh, we love that. We always put these panels on very late, these glass panels, because we're always afraid we'll be working above and somebody will drop a hammer or something and we'll go through it. So as always, uh, the day takes a turn and I have to adapt <laughs> and trying to get around it. So I've got a puncture. My driver's side rear wheel is losing air. And I was thinking about it, maybe I'll just go to the yard, put some air in it, put some, if I put some air in it, I'll just keep putting some air in it every single day. So I'm gonna try and go and get it fixed now so I don't stitch myself up later. I've called ahead, so I'm gonna pull in. Hopefully it'll be like F1 pit stop. I'll go straight up on the ramp and they can take it off and hopefully they can fix the puncture straight away and I can get back on the road, but we will see. So trying to get my puncture fixed ASAP. Trying to find where the puncture is, spraying water on it, see if we can see any bubbles. At the moment we can't, but the tire is losing air. That has messed up my entire day. So 
The plot thickens, as I said, day never goes according to plan. So I went and got myself a puncture, managed to get that fixed. Now I've had a call from the mechanic. I need some parts for a lorry and I need them now so we can get the lorry back on the road. So I've come to buy the parts myself because it was on my way and I'm late. I'm meant to be in the yard. Right, I need the side lights that go on the body of the lorry. Something as small as this, a side light. Without this, the lorry can't go out. Imagine that, that. I don't need to ask you if you, if you applied the, the Asheville discount, do I? Now we're gonna go to the yard, unless anything mad happens on the way there. So at last, I'm back at the yard. First things first, I'm gonna go up into the office and catch up, I haven't been here in a few hours. Then I'm gonna go into the yard and see what's going on. There's always a lot to do. Hello everyone. Hi. Tezza. Hello. I'm finally back in the office. Thankfully, because of technology, mobile phones, I was able to do emails and I'm not that far behind. Finally at my desk, I'm gonna quickly try and get something to eat. How wide can you get it? I know I've put on a bit of timber now, but don't. No, that, cause can you get can you get me and you at the same time? How are we getting on? Go, go, go. It's always good to have someone who you can rely on to be your eyes and ears. Because I've left the yard to go and do other bits and pieces and Terry's been running the yard. He's my eyes and ears. He's been running the lorries, etc. So it's really helpful, it really works. Need a good team around you. Phone calls are coming in here. Uh, Julia's dealing with them. Uh, over here, we um, have Maria and Sinead and we're doing credit control and we're doing accounts all at the same time. Terry's over here doing operations and transport and everyone's working together as a team. There is a Weybridge over the other side, but the Weybridge is unmanned at the moment. Terry just said, because the camera is here, don't look, he's laughing now, don't try to pretend that you care about the people in the office and you bring sweets. Who has brought sweets more out of me and Terry? Terry. How is he? <laughs> no, he hasn't. <laughs> no, he hasn't. How has Terry brought sweets more than me? Terry's never brought sweets more than me. Oh, that's just a joke because the camera's here. That's just jokes because the camera's here. But who's brought sweets more? I'll tell the truth. All right, do you know what? Don't eat the sweets then, innit? <laughs> we have had a train come in and I need to go into the yard and make sure that everything is as it should be. Because of where our yard is and our yard isn't a straight go through, the trains have to go past us, turn around, drive back and reverse into the yard. We put 18 carriages on the main line here and on the secondary line up there, what you'll see, we put six carriages. It enables us to have the biggest trains possible. So we're going to have a look and make sure everything's as it should be. So what you can see here, you can see this material handler with the clamshell bucket, taking the material out the carriages and stockpiling them here. Then what we do afterwards is we take the loading shovel and we put these all into massive piles. So the train's moving forward. So the uh, material operator, so he doesn't have to move and the train is moving forward just so he can grab out of the next carriage. If you have a look here, you'll see our primary line and our secondary line. The day's going really well. As if I didn't have enough to do, we've started putting content out. So I now have to try and film a review of my car. Um, I'm tired, I'm fading a little bit, but we must push on. Hi everyone, Daniel at Asheville here. Today, Asheville. <laughs> Hi everyone, Daniel at Asheville here. Today I'm going to do a, re a review, a review. Hi everyone, Daniel at Asheville here. Today I'm going to do. Hi everyone, Daniel at Asheville here. Today I'm going to do a review of my 2018 Land Rover Discovery 5. Do you think we're going to be able to do it in this? Um, here's a prime example of what happens sometimes when you're in an open space like this nature. Out of nowhere, the wind has picked up. I'm supposed to do a review of this today so I can get this car to Yanni so he can take the wrap off and we've got another video to do, but we can't actually do anything. Because out of nowhere, it's windy. You can't hear me. I've got my t-shirt blowing all over the place and I look ridiculous. This goes to show, nothing goes according to plan. Right, so uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to pack it in and stop it, it's not gonna work. It's far too windy and I can't be wasting time standing out here fighting with the natural elements. I've got plenty of emails to do and I wanna see what's going on in the yard. I need to catch up uh, before the end of the day um, just to see what's going on. So we'll reconvene indoors. Generally, I get somewhere in the region of about 
250 to 300 emails a day. I do try to respond to as much as I can or to forward it to someone um, in another department who can deal with it. Um, after just being out in the yard and everywhere, I normally come back and sit at my desk. I've got like 100 emails I've got to answer. So I'm probably gonna be sat here for a good few hours. That's if somebody doesn't come into the office and need me, or if I spot something on the cameras and I've got to go out into the yard and do something. So uh, towards the end of the day, it kind of quiets down in here a little bit and then I've got a bit more time to catch up. So if anyone doesn't hear back from me, I'm not ignoring you. I am trying to get around to it. Finally on the way home, it's been a good day. Managed to have a train come in, uh, managed to have a few site meetings, plenty done operationally, and already looking at what we're gonna do tomorrow, but we've managed to map out a bit of tomorrow already. Happy with the day, need to go home and prepare as best I can and try and do it all again tomorrow. On the way home at a time like this, I generally try to you know, call friends and family and try and catch up with people. Generally calls that came in about 10 hours ago and I didn't call them back because I was flat out. So now I try and uh, call back everyone with my tail between my legs and try and explain that I was busy and hopefully they'll take my call and hopefully we'll have a catch up. But generally people understand, they know what it's like for me. So, just home. It's uh, 10 to eight. Need to regroup for the morning. So take everything out, take it upstairs, repack and do the same again all tomorrow. Um, now I've come home, I need to have something to eat. I've got plenty of work to do. The day's far from over. How close are you to my face? <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I'm home and you're about to learn that I am a creature of habit. <laughs> so straight away, like a schoolboy all my lunch containers, everything. Bags are unpacked. I'm gonna make myself something to eat now. I'm not the best of cooks, so I'm probably gonna to have to warm up some food, what I made on Sunday. I tend to watch series and films. The problem with me is, if I watch a series or film and I like it, I tend to keep watching it over and over again. So people say to me, did you see the news last night? I'm like, nope. Did you know what happened with so-and-so? Nope. So I'm not really up to date on what's going on. Uh, I kind of live in my own world, as you can see. So I end up watching the likes of Game of Thrones, Vikings, Gamora, shows like that. I end up watching them repeatedly and end up learning them off by heart. So uh, I'm about to do that now. While I sit down and have something to eat quickly, I'll probably put Gamora on. So if you see the wallpaper, the wallpaper is actually a massive picture of the city of London blown up. The reason I've done that is because I always said to myself, I wanted to have um, an office on the top floor in the city of London. Well, that's never gonna happen now, unfortunately. So this is the closest I can get to it. These football shirts are on the wall. These are Queen's Park Rangers shirts, because I'm proud to say that Asheville have sponsored Queen's Park Rangers for the last few years. So hopefully when the football season gets up and running again, you'll see Asheville on, on the pitch again. And hopefully QPR will do well. Maybe not this season, but next season. I work from free screens at home because I feel that I can work a lot more efficiently because I can have something different on every screen. The first thing I'm looking at is the work list. And the work list is what the drivers will be doing tomorrow. If you fail to prepare, then you prepare to fail. So I try to be as prepared as I possibly can. But at the same time, I have to try not to be too obsessive because I will actually sit here all night. I have done this every single night for the past six years. There is no night that has gone by that I haven't done this work list. So I'm kind of used to it. Shower time is like a 15 minutes where I like to try to get some of the stress out of my head and try to just regroup and go for a little second win to do a little bit more work. So it's the end of the day. I'm just trying to switch off a bit so I can fall asleep. Um, I'm watching the world's most extraordinary homes. I find these kind of shows very interesting. Um, so I really just leave the TV on, turn the lights out, and I just fall asleep with the TV on most of the time. So you can call me uh, lazy or you can call me a geek, but I can control all the lights in the entire house and the TVs and everything from my phone. So now I will say good night. <laughs>